invested, it's hard to walk away. You know what I'm saying? You didn't only invest things, but you invested emotions. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So what do I do? How do I choose? What would you do? Go. Walk away. Easier said than done. Easier said than done, because you never know what a person did. That's right. <laughs> Freedom isn't always free. That's you know what I'm saying? Right. Calls. You know what I'm saying? You think you're free, then you really need a person you're like, damn, I sure do miss him and or her. You know, because that other person isn't what you thought. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Sometimes if you water your own grass, take care of your own grass, that grass that you see on the other side of the fence won't look so good. You know what I'm saying? And if you walk somebody else's lawn, you might see some brown patches while you're playing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think that somebody else got it good when you might actually have it better than them, which you don't know. Okay. What's up, baby? You actually got it better than a lot of people because you just got married. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I just got married. I'm, I'm not a newlywed, but it's still fresh. You know, it's still fresh, and you know, it's, it's a challenge. Married women, raise your hand. Woo! Right? We yeah. Woo! And you like sometimes you just want to clock them over the head sometimes, don't you? <laughs> You're like, what? What did I do? <laughs> but let me help you out. For any, this is like, real quick before we get into the, that man, because that man is about you know how I'm just all kind of in love and everything. But it's one thing to be in love, but it's another thing to stay in love. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're married, you got to constantly, you know, make it, you know, fresh and new and you know, all that good stuff. And I've come across this book, and this is for even ladies who are not married, you know, it's called The Respect Dare. And it's 40 days to deepening your connection with God and your husband. Because in the Bible it says... Husbands love your wives. Wives respect your husbands. Amen. So the respect there is all about women finding that respect for their husband. Even if they have it, you know, it's still a helpful tool. But if you have lost it or you never did have it, you just got married because you wanted to be with somebody because you don't like to be by yourself, it'll help you find <laughs> I said something to somebody back here. <laughs> It's a book that'll help you find that respect. So, you know, and then there's a book called The Love Dare for the fellas. Just in case y'all don't know how to love. And loving somebody isn't always buying somebody. Keep that in mind. And providing for somebody doesn't mean just paying the bills. It's emotional support, spiritual support, physical support, mental support. So, you know, in order for us to find this, com you know, this common ground, we need to learn how to love and respect one another. So with that said, let me talk about my man. <laughs> this song right here is called That Man, and it's about me finding that special person, even though, you know, every now and again, I want to clock him over the head with a mic. You know what I'm saying? I still want to love him and respect him, and I still have that love and respect regardless of the situation. So this is called that. Man. I'm getting all grown and y'all and everything. <laughs> I like this intimate setting. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. 